no appetite, not much sleep. I just can't seem to focus. To read them letters my wife wrote me every day, it broke my heart. It took my manhood from me. That was my wife, and I could not help her. It was the worst experience of my life to read my wife suffering and then to know she's locked in a maximum security prison among inmates that are dangerous and she has no reason to be locked there. They may not have killed one person, they probably have killed two. Because after the letters and her death, I can't find no enjoyment in life or reason for it anymore. I loved Canada, but now I would rather just about be anywhere. She was a special person, you know. I know everyone says that, right? But I mean, she was. She was truly special. She believed in God. You know, she was a nurse and she believed in, you know, um, helping people and in their times of need, whether she was doing good in her, her life or not. I'd walked in the door and when I saw her, it was like I was in love. I just don't know how to explain it, but it was love at first sight. I knew I was going to marry her. We ended up together for 33 years. Teresa was a permanent resident here. We were trying to get her Canadian citizenship. She was uh, detained by Canadian immigration on the basis of missing an appointment. They tried to say that she was a flight risk or something. The call is from Immigration Canada. Just, your wife had died. It was so cold. They, I believe, let her just suffer to death. She was very sick. She was 50 years old on medications for 11 or 12 years straight. She had some problems with uh, depression, bipolar, and you just can't take somebody off them medications. Cold turkey. It, it really doesn't sit well with me at all. Like, I really want to find out what happened. You're not supposed to die in Canadian jail. It's been hard. I miss my mom. Um, and I don't think it's going to get any easier for a while. No. It's changed my whole idealisms on the Canadian justice system. I thought people would be treated right here, and they're not. She wasn't. <laughs>